Recently I was making aluminum oxide and I couldn't help but notice that my glassware doesn't look like it used to. I mean it's stained a little bit, I don't know if you can see it. Ok now for real, this stain was quite pain in the ass to clean. I tried to use every chemical in the world to clean this but with no luck. I continued in the process with stained glassware and over time I noticed that it got a lot thicker. At that point I decided to clean it by mechanical means. After I liberated quite a few pieces of this goddamn material, I have decided to have a look at it. The first thing that struck me was the sound these things make. The second thing is that when I examine this piece from the side that has been stuck to the glass, I mean, it's almost mirror-like. So these pieces are quite translucent. There is a little bit of elastic deformation, but the pieces are very brittle. This is deposited material, so obviously thickness can vary from few nanometers. This piece looks like 100 or 200 micrometers thick, and this one like 500 or so. Now to the limits of the area that can be deposited, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any. I mean, look at this chunky chunk. And there is a little bit bigger one. Now this one is brutal. Man, I cannot get over how this thing sounds like. Okay, now let's test its hardness. Yep, it's hard. Now quickly to the process that actually caused these stains. Basically I reacted aluminum metal with the sodium hydroxide, a very small amount of sodium hydroxide. If you are interested in the details of this process you can watch separate video in description or somewhere. So here you can see there are at least two layers of the deposition. This suggests that the material is not sticking only to the glass. But well, you know, it may be some magic. Another thing I found is when you soak this deposited material with the dilute hydrochloric acid, it will liberate it from the glass. It doesn't dissolve it, only liberate it from the glass. Nothing seems to be able to dissolve this thing. I mean, sodium hydroxide should, but for some reason it doesn't really. Or it does, but not quite fast enough to be noticeable. Don't know. Now here are some things that I dropped into the reaction that stained the glass. This is some steel rot. I mean, it's very hard to say how this is being stained because it's quite reflective. This is PCB. It has been stained. And this has been stained just a little bit under the surface of the solution. The staining is also quite durable. So to me it seems that this deposition is caused by the lowered solubility because of the lower temperature of the thing that has been dropped in. It makes sense that the glass is stained because it is exposed to the ambient. And also when we look back, the bottom of the beaker that I showed you wasn't stained. I mean, does it make sense? Because the wood that it sit on was basically an insulator. I put some of these pieces into the oven at 250 degrees for about one hour. They did change shape. To me it seems that only the thinner did change shape significantly. For example, these two are thick and they don't seem to change shape at all. And here isn't the reaction with hydrochloric acid. Okay, so after all this does not look like material for nanotubes and shit. But still, very interesting and unexpected thing to see.